Family and friends are now mourning the loss of two teenagers after they were killed in a two car collision in LaGrange. 18 year old Ben Clifford and 19 year old Haley O'Kelly died. O'Kelly's parents are talking for the first time about the loss of their daughter. WLKY's Corey Pippen joins us live with their story. Corey? Rick, Vicki, Haley O'Kelly graduated just three weeks before she was killed. Her family says she had a zest for life that couldn't be contained and was full of love. And it's through that she'll live on. She was the light of my life. And it felt like it was taken my heart away. Under the tree, her family says she planted in the front yard of their Jeffersonville home when she was a child. Haley's father, Sean, shows examples of her artwork, one of many passions. Now, bittersweet memories for her family, reminders of what she meant to those who love her. She loved children. Her, her goal in life was to own her own daycare one day. And she was just an angel. She never met a stranger. She loved everyone, and everyone loved Haley. It was that dream she was working towards since graduating from Jeffersonville High School while teaching children at Sacred Heart Catholic School. She was a ray of sunshine. She was always so positive, always so focused, so determined um, to be successful and do great in life. Um, and I really feel like Haley was a person that could have changed the world. When she wasn't working, Haley's family says she loved being with friends, much like she was Saturday afternoon. She was on her way back from fishing with friends when the car she was riding in crashed into a pickup truck at the intersection of Highway 53 and Old Sligo Road. Haley and 18 year old Ben Clifford died. My mom called me and I knew something was wrong by the tone of her voice. Um, but when she said that she was killed, it just didn't seem real. Um, I couldn't cry, I couldn't move, I couldn't breathe. Um, I felt like I had died. A memorial now marks the site of the crash. Haley's family wants her legacy to continue. They're planning to set up an art scholarship at Jeff High in her name. Haley was going to do great things in life, and maybe this is a way that she can still do great things. That's right. Haley's family says they want to thank everyone who responded to the scene and the community for their support. They also send prayers to Ben Clifford's family and the survivors of the crash. They intend to set up a memorial fund in Haley's honor this week. Corey Pippen, WLKY News. Thank you, Corey. The driver of the car, 20 year old Brianna Zambroski, was taken to the hospital with serious injuries. The truck's driver, 29 year old Michael Baker, and 24 year old Stephanie Noel, uh, was, uh, as well as three children, had some minor injuries.